what is that as a coach how how can nonverbal help us let's start with that i think well, it helps oh, go ahead anthony i was about to say nonverbal from what i've looked up the statistics on it about 55 percent of all communication is nonverbal 38 percent is vocalized and then 70 percent seven percent is only is just the content of the words that are being spoken so it's not so much as in how can it help you it's just what it's most of your communication is already nonverbal. Um, the majority of it, it does not have to anything to do with what you're actually saying. So how can it help you is just being aware of that fact for one that most of what you're communicating is, you know, not the words being spoken. So amazing point you just made, right? Um, if, if you said 53% of communication is nonverbal, Mm -hmm. Well, and and thirty five is uh, what was the thirty five was um, thirty eight thirty eight percent is vocal, so that includes vocal. the words, but how you say the words, but not what and, the actual words are. Yeah, the seven so, percent is the actual meaning of the words you're saying. Like if I so were to write it down. So suddenly, perfect questions and advice and all the things a coach might be saying is a lot less important. Uh, saying out loud, I should say, uh, in the in a realm of communication, I, uh, which I think is a, a kind of a cool thing to think about. Um, how else can it help coach help coaches? I think it's strong in the space of helping build rapport um, to go ahead and show that you're you're paying attention, you're there for them at that moment to verbally or non-verbally express that helps develop your relationship with your client. So maybe we should break down the aspects of nonverbal communication um, and then try to deep dive into them. The first one I'm looking at in very well mind right now is facial expressions. So expressing expressing the emotions that you're feeling at the moment as a coach. Um, I no. tend to have a pretty neutral face when I coach. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that's a hard thing for us to do as coaches one of the things we talk about as coaches uh, and we've done a thing on this is we can't give praise as a coach we're not supposed to praise our clients well when we're doing what are we doing you're nodding your head we're, a, we're, we're, we're agreeing we're praising we are giving them validation for you know um by nodding so a nod can be sort of a little dangerous a little precarious <laughs> something well, you a nod a nod is even more towards like a gesture rather than just a facial expression like i'm i'm thinking of like a smile or like grimace or okay you know, afraid so or would you okay, say that sometimes so it looks like you're listening and you're like paying attention because if i stare at you the whole time and you just gave me like a plethora of information it might even come across like i didn't get any of that but at yeah. least when you're nodding, you're like, okay, I mean, I'm, I understand. I'm following you. Um, well, if a client, let's say, uh, I'm gonna, let's see, let's come up with something here. Um, guys, <laughs> guys, I think I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna quit my job. Okay. When? Uh, yeah. No, I'm gonna. I'm quitting. This is what. I, so, but that was a good point. Lisa's face. What did you just do? <laughs> if you were a coach and you did that. When some client <laughs> said, "I'm gonna quit my job," <laughs> how do you think that client might feel? <laughs> like, like you I just dropped a bomb on them. I <laughs> do the backstroke. Lighten it up. Can you imagine how much interpretation uh, or, or that I think that that our clients go out there in the world and they're expecting other people to react that way. And especially when, like Jerome said, when we're building rapport, if we go, that could be a quick way to damage some rapport real quick, right? Um, oh, shoot. <laughs> Uh, or if you have a people pleaser in there, 
suddenly they're going to backstroke, like Lisa said, right? They're going to they're going to go, oh, and then they're not going to get what they really want. <laughs> I'm not quitting my job, by the way. Brooke's doing the backstroke right now online. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> so there's leading questions. Well, we're speaking about sounds like potentially leading gestures. Is that mm. something that, yeah. Well, we're looking, we're talking about as a coach, if we want to be neutral, it's one thing to be neutral by not saying or giving advice, but the next level of neutrality is to be aware of our nonverbal communication. 